This is the most immersive home theater like experience that money can buy on a budget. My name is Taps. This is 0102 Studio, and this is a review of the Aperion Audio Theatrist line of speakers. I didn't think I was going to get to review a speaker package like this, in that this is a dedicated theater style cinema speaker setup, and I don't have a dedicated cinema room. I took delivery of the Theatrist line along with the Veris line and the Novus line. So that's three speaker packages all on one shipping pallet all at once. It was my wife's worst nightmare and it was a dream come true. Aperion's mission for this speaker lineup was really simple. Just remove any of the acoustic barriers that exist with a normal home theater speaker setup. To do this, they broke away from the traditional design framework. They implemented a new driver layout, new woofer and tweeter materials, an enhanced crossover tuning and network. They allowed for placement behind like a projector screen. And they made sure that while this excels in a home theater application, that these also excel for music and just casual listening as well. All of the speakers in the Theatrist lineup feature an AMT ribbon tweeter, dual soft dome mid-range drivers, and what they call dual curve woofers. They're all made to a high efficiency crossover and the ability to tailor the sound via the back panel controls. The appearing AMT tweeter can achieve 103 decibel sensitivity and a frequency response up to 40 kilohertz. Knowing that this tweeter would operate at a higher SPL, they added a protection circuit to help keep the tweeter safe. The dual 2-inch soft dome mid-range drivers feature a low distortion 50 millimeter voice coil. This soft dome mid-range driver utilizes about a quarter of its rated power with very low distortion at high volumes. The new dual curve woofers, for some reason I find dual curve really hard to say. Dual curve woofers, dual curve woofers, dual curve woofers. Anyway, they're light and stiff and that sounds really dirty. Every speaker in the lineup also has EQ adjustment. And this is done because the most ideal setup would be behind an acoustic curtain. And an acoustic curtain may pose some sort of acoustic challenges, right? So they have EQ settings to compensate for that. They also have on-wall and in-wall settings for each speaker as well. And you can tweak and augment the speaker to your liking. It's really, really cool. The on-wall and in-wall adjustments sort of handle the bass, but they also have a high-frequency adjustment as well. So they sort of covered all the bases for these speakers. They also have dual front-firing bass reflex ports, and they include foam bungs that you can stuff into those ports to mitigate any bass response, but why would you want to do that for a home theater setup? The T80 three-way dual 8-inch cinema studio monitor speaker served as the left and right. They're big, and they weigh about 50 pounds. Frequency response is 30 hertz to 35 kilohertz. Impedance is 4 ohms and sensitivity is 94 decibels. The T80S three-way dual 8-inch slim cinema studio monitor served as the center channel speaker. This weighs about 35 pounds. The frequency response is 60 hertz to 35 kilohertz. Impedance is 4 ohms and sensitivity is also 94 decibels. And then the T65S Slim 3-Way Dual 6.5-inch Cinema Studio on-wall speaker served as the surrounds. These weigh 26.5 pounds. Frequency response for these is 65 hertz to 35 kilohertz. Impedance is again 4 ohms with a sensitivity of 94 decibels. Design-wise, you pretty much know what you're going to get with dedicated theater speakers. They're function over form. They're designed to be hidden behind an acoustic curtain. They're designed to be shoved into spaces or on the walls and be hidden from sight. But design-wise, I'm kind of fond of these speakers. I like the way they look. Hot take. I think these are the prettiest speakers in a Perian speaker lineup. The exterior cabinet is like a satin MDF. It looks really clean. The drivers all complement each other. The AMT driver unit is a nice yellow and it pops nicely against the speakers. I really like the way these look. And I like them so much that 
for a time, I don't have them set up right now, but a B-roll here, I had the front, left, or right as part of my DJ setup because I think they looked awesome. And when we had our house up for sale, it was part of the pictures. I thought it looked really cool. And um, yeah, they're pretty. To round out the system a little bit and to make use of all the speakers that Imperian left behind, I used the Varus 8 bookshelf, that really large bookshelf speaker that I reviewed from their higher up lineup. I used those as my rear surrounds just because I could. All of these speakers were powered by something else that Imperian sent over was their E7 7 channel power amplifier, and it's 150 watts of power times seven. It's massive and it's perfect for a setup as crazy as this one. I also had the BW 610 as my subwoofer of choice. And I should note that during this review is when that subwoofer decided to just crap out. I didn't blow it. It just, I think the connections are loose on it and it just stops working every so often. It's kind of a bummer for a home theater package review. And it's kind of a bummer in general because. I love bass music, and now I'm short of sub. The receiver I used was the Moran Cinema 70. I chose that because it has pre-outs, and I can pre-out all seven channels into said power amplifier. It works flawlessly, power all of these crazy speakers, and I'm off to the races. The front speakers were carefully and precariously set up on speaker stands that I already had. The surrounds? Uh, uh, that was an uglier scenario. So me not having a dedicated home theater room that like most people, the rooms open on one side. So I have a wall to the right and I placed one of the speakers, the surrounds on the arm of the couch, just leaning up against the wall. And the other speaker I placed on like a rolling media shelf for my kid, like the Alex drawers thing. And I just placed that, up against like a pole in the middle of our basement and that's where i had that speaker and i just ran the wire down the pole and across the floor and then just taped it down to the floor just so no one trips over it no one being me because i'm pretty much the only one down here remember when i said this is the most immersive theater-like experience on a budget i wasn't kidding like holy hell I've had a few speaker packages in house and all of those speaker packages are sort of dual purpose. Like they're made for home theater, but they're also really made for music. But when you have speakers that are set up and their sole purpose is theater and aesthetics are thrown aside, you really get a sense of like, Oh, this is actually what's possible. And I think everyone needs to experience this. And I made sure that I had as many people over as possible to just sit and watch movies when they came by, because it's totally worth geeking out if you love movies or even just good TV shows and you like to feel like you're part of what's going on. It's, it's amazing. I would be really curious to see what an Atmos setup with these speakers would sound like. Cause ooh. Interstellar has everything that I want when I'm testing out a home theater package. It's got all the loud moments, all the quiet dialogue moments, all the subtleties in the mix, particularly when they fly into the black hole for the first time. Like it has all of the rattles, all of the, the oomph in it. And fortunately my subwoofer was working at this point, which is really good though. Paired it with a speaker package like this one, the sub was severely outgunned and, it did just enough to like kind of fill in that low end where needed or just take in the extra 0.1 channel of sound and deliver that. But if you want to pair a subwoofer with a speaker package like this, you would do well to go much larger and at least have two of them. Imperion also makes their own subwoofers. I haven't had a chance to listen to them. They did not send any of those over. I kind of wish I requested one though because they look kind of cool too john wick three or four or i don't know they uh, all these movies blend together to me i don't really like them very much but i had friends over that were watching this movie on this setup and i was just standing behind the couch like so my friends could take pole position on the couch 
they were pretty quiet for the time that they're watching, like just people getting shot up. And then I tried to like talk to them and say, Hey, what do you think of it? And they just couldn't hear me. They were so immersed in the sound field itself that they just didn't, they were unaware that I was talking behind them. They told me that this was unlike anything that they had heard before. They felt like this was the best like TV watching movie watching experience that they've had in someone's home. Invasion is a show that really makes you appreciate a good home theater package. It has all of the big loud moments, but then a lot of dialogue heavy moments. Being able to like hear characters in and around the sound field and like the, the subtle ambience of it, like it's really nice. You don't always have to listen to big loud movies to get a sense of a good home theater package. And it's incidentally one of the movies that I always watch primarily to put my kids to sleep because it's boring to them is Moneyball. There's no loud action in it. It's just lots of like people talking in hallways and offices and baseball stadiums. And you get a really nice sense of like a surround field of people talking and like all those subtleties and intricacies of how they mix that movie. It's great to listen to on just any home theater package, but when you have a really big one, it's even more immersive and ugh. Providing that you have enough juice, you could totally use the front speakers for music as well. And since I had the power amplifier on hand, I was able to do that. And yeah, it's super detailed. You get all the immersion if you go into multi-channel mode on a two-channel track. It's totally epic. But if you just separate the front left and right speakers and just use them, you get really great sound. And to any of the DJs out there, I know there's a few watching. If you need a pair of monitor speakers for your DJ setup and you need to be able to like put them on a shelf, push them up against the wall, still have high SPL levels, still have tons of detail, tons of bass, look into a pair of home theater speakers. Look into a pair of these Epirian Theatris front, left and right speakers. I use them as part of my DJ setup behind me there and I had them placed on the shelf. I put a foam isolation absorption sort of thing below them to mitigate any of the vibrations. And these work perfectly. You can underpower these speakers if you're in a pinch because they're 94 dB sensitivity with a four ohm rating. You can try the, see that amp behind me, the CXA 60 from Cambridge Audio. That's 60 watts into 8 ohms and 90 watts into 4 ohms. And that speaker does work and you can go good and loud on them. But if you step up to the CXA81 that has more juice, more current, just more, more, you extract more detail. And it's not like small, subtle levels of detail. You hear it immediately. Like you hear more high symbols are clearer. There's just... There's more there if you step up in amplification. And then all the way over there, you see the E7 150 watt power amplifier. You plug that into these speakers, two channel, and holy hell, they're like totally different speakers. You get all the crispness, all the detail, all the, the width of the soundstage. You get lower bass. You get everything sounds so much better the more current you put into these speakers. So you can. I guess if I'm trying to twist your arm here, like because Black Friday's coming up or would have just passed, but uh, whenever there's a sale on these or just if you need them, buy these speakers, use whatever low powered amplifier you have, and then you can slowly just step up your amplifier and these speakers would sound brand new. This is a speaker package that I wish everyone could get a chance to listen to at some point. If you're one of the people that gets a chance to own these speakers, just invite your friends over. I mean, just share the joy. These are awesome. Oh, and if you like this video, please consider liking and subscribing. I'd really appreciate it.